And with these tips, you should unlock the Hue Automatic Optical in faster time. I'm Rum Spanker and welcome back to another weapon unlock guide and actually the last fast weapon unlock guide because we've unlocked every single new DLC gun and every level 10 weapon variant in Battlefield 1. For those of you who haven't seen the previous fast unlock videos I will post links to those videos in the description below. In those videos I share tips on how to get headshots for the ribeye rolls, how to unlock the self ladder 1906 sniper the fastest way possible and that was brutal, the hell regal defensive and much much more. If there's a new weapon you want to unlock and you want tips on how to do it you've come to the right place. In this video I will share tips on how you can unlock the Hue Automatic Optical as quickly as possible because we want these guns fast with as little time grinding as possible. Before we get into this video I have to apologize after yesterday's live stream during the afternoon I was not able to get back on at night because the baby was pretty fussy all night. Usually the wife takes care of the baby at night but I just couldn't let her do it alone while I live streamed the game so I just couldn't get back on guys but it was awesome to see some of you guys some familiar faces because I haven't streamed in a while, some familiar faces, but I want to get back into streaming every week, so I apologize for that, guys. Now, back to the Hue Automatic Optical. What is it? What is the requirement to unlock it? What game mode is best to get kills with it quickly? Tips for shooting with this weapon to get the maximum damage? How to reload this weapon much, much faster and much, much more? Let's hop right into it. The Hue Automatic Rifle is a light machine gun that was developed by Joseph Hue in 1916 during World War I. It is an automatic conversion of the Canadian Ross Straight Pull Bolt Action Rifle. The war ended before the weapon entered service into the Canadian Army and only four, yes that's right, only four, one, two, three, four, are known to have been built. If you were wondering what the large metallic shroud is that covers the top of the hue, it appears to be a heat shield. There are some pretty cool skins you can equip for the weapon that bring out the cool designs on the heat shield as well. Now that you know a little history behind this weapon, let's get into the requirements to get the optical variant. In order to unlock the Hue Automatic Optical, the requirements are to get 300 kills with the Hue Automatic Low Weight version and get 25 Limpid Charge kills. In order to get the Hue Automatic Low Weight version to begin with, you must reach level 10 for the support class and then purchase the Hue Low Weight version for 200 War Bonds. Support was the only class I had not reached max rank with, so I had to grind a bit before I could even begin my grind for the Optical Variant. Keep in mind you do not have to have Premium Pass or any DLC purchase to unlock this weapon because it is a level 10 weapon variant and available to anyone level 10 and above on the support class. I'm going to address the fastest tips to reach 300 kills and 25 limpid charge kills that I've found, but first I'll explain certain important things you should know before hitting the battlefield with this weapon, or you probably will get frustrated when using this weapon when the enemies seem like bullet sponges. The Hue Automatic is not the best light machine gun for long distance or even the strongest close quarters light machine gun, but there are certain ways this gun is at its optimal performance within the right environment. The maximum damage per shot for the Hue is 23, and the minimum damage is 15 per shot. The maximum damage of 23 per shot is anywhere within the range of 0 to 11 meters, essentially up close and personal. From about 11 meters to 15 meters, there's a slight damage decrease, and the damage begins to drop off significantly after 15 meters. At approximately 45 meters and beyond, every shot that hits his target will provide only 15 damage. That means those long range shots are pretty useless and your focus while using this weapon should be kept within the close or preferably medium range where this weapon is at its best. Judging by those figures you might think on paper this gun would be the best at close range however this is in fact not the case. When hitting the ground the Hue Automatic carries 25 rounds at the ready plus one in the chamber for a total of 26 rounds. 26 rounds to expend at a time with 104 rounds in reserve ammunition. The good news is as support you have a continuous supply of ammunition to provide yourself so lack of ammunition is never an issue. However, reloading this weapon can take 4.25 seconds. Imagine that 4.25 seconds during the heat of battle is an eternity. You can cut that reload time down significantly, this is important guys. 
you can cut this reload time down significantly to a mere 2.85 seconds and here's how most guns in battlefield 1 reload much faster by waiting to reload until they have been run dry do not do this with the Hue Automatic Low Weight or the Optical Variant. In order to reload much faster, reload while you still have at least one round left to expend. As far as reloading, like I addressed in the Self Platter 1906 Sniper Unlock video, this is another weapon you will want to keep a decent secondary weapon on hand to accompany with. When you find yourself in close quarters, fast paced situations, the ability to switch to that secondary pistol instead of reloading is priceless. Now on to shooting, the Hue Automatic Low Weight suffers from a slow rate of fire at 475 RPM but boasts a decent accuracy while aimed down the sights while standing still. The vertical recoil is 0.28 while the horizontal recoil is a very manageable 0.08. Keep in mind that the accuracy spread greatly increases while moving so your most accurate shots will be standing still while aimed down the sights. Pair that with being within the 0 to 11 meter sweet spot and you can guarantee on short targeting with decent damage. Now with all the useful information aside, you might ask, how do I get 300 kills with this thing, the quickest rump spanker, let me know bro. Well, here it is. I highly recommend playing the game mode Domination, and that's for two reasons. Domination mode is close quarters like Team Deathmatch, however you have objectives to capture on Domination maps. Defending a capture point while armed with the Hue Automatic can provide ample time for you to post up as immobile as possible while taking out enemies attempting to capture. Also Domination mode enemies tend to focus on reaching objectives and traveling between objectives on foot since there are no vehicles on the game mode. Keeping an eye for unsuspecting enemies that are moving across the map on foot I found to be a great way to take a decent chunk out of the required 300 kills. Another great reason Domination was the best mode in my opinion is the fact that upon dying on Domination the respawn time is drastically decreased. Since we are attempting to get the 300 kills as quickly as possible, less time spent respawning is a win. I tried other game modes including Operations and Conquest, well because I love both of these modes. However the large distance between my Hue Automatic weapon and the enemies targeted in these modes seemed to take too long to encounter enemies and too long to put them down, too many shots at long distance, it just, it just really wasn't working out for me. It would take too much time to even encounter enemies in medium or close proximity. Also playing the larger objective based modes proved to be another problem because enemies seemed to travel in functional squads which made the long time to kill and low damage of the hue not very practical for encountering multiple enemies at one time. So you've gotten the 300 kills with hue automatic, now the second half the requirement is obtain 25 kills with the limpet charge. Limpet charges are basically timed magnetic explosives that once placed attach to almost any surface. They detonate after 3 seconds. The limpet charge requirement is get those 25 kills as I stated and it's pretty straightforward. I found that using these limpet charges was pretty fun. It was actually a pretty fun and pretty hilarious requirement to complete. As far as getting fast kills with the limpet charge there are two things I want to share with you that I found most important. Limpet charges once placed can only be set off by the 3 second detonation timer and cannot otherwise be destroyed and or neutralized. This is good to know because areas where enemies have already tossed and detonated multiple explosives can be good places to toss limpet charges to surprise rushing infantry. Limpet charges deal significant damage and can disable or destroy vehicles, however I found that the best and quickest way to gather the 25 necessary kills was to play domination and place the limpet charges on buildings where I heard enemies moving within. Not only would the limpet charge itself detonate and take out enemies, but the falling building debris would ensure the highest amounts of damage. I found that those close quarters domination maps proved the most amount of destroyable multi-level buildings to place the limpet charges on. I hope these tips helped you quickly unlock the Hue Automatic Optical Variant. I've shared how to quickly unlock every level 10 weapon variant in every DLC gun available for Battlefield 1 at this time. And I will do this again as soon as more weapons are added to the game. Thanks for watching and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any gaming tips or live streams on the channel. I'm out of here.